Hello everyone, and welcome to the Poetry Moment, hosted by the Robert C. Williams Museum of Papermaking here at the Georgia Institute of Technology. My name is Jawo Fannings, and I will be your guide into the wonderful world of poetry and paper. Poetry Moment is a branch of the Robert C. Williams Larger Radical Generosity Exhibit, which is on view from January 17th to June 10th, 2022. Radical Generosity is an exploration of Thomas Lux's work as an editor on the Jean Duval editions and an advocate for the power of poetry. For more information, please visit our website at paper.gatech.edu. In this episode, we'll be reading selected works from Michael Meyerhofer's chapbook, Real Courage. Michael Meyerhofer is a novelist, a poet, and a professor at DeVry University in California. In addition, we'll be reading selected works from Terry L. Kennedy's chapbook, Until the Clouds Shatter the Light That Plates Our Lives. Terry L. Kennedy is the director of the MFA writing program at the University of North Carolina, Greensboro, the editor of the Greensboro Review, and the editor of Story South. This is Ode to Dogs from Michael Meyerhofer's Real Courage. I'm tired of hearing about dogs used as metaphors for the uncivilized. Imagine a world in which humans possess at least 20 times as many old factory receptors, able to distinguish the tang of cancer, rising must-like from the bedsheets next to a smoldering ashtray, able to detect that one drop of blood in every five quarts of water. To know what you did last night, no matter how many times you soap scrubbed the evidence. It does not take savagery, but more love than we can muster to lick the hand you've sniffed, to love despite the perfume of sins we wear like a halo. This is Apology from the City, from Terry O. Kennedy's Until the Clouds Shatter the Light That Plates Our Lives. I can imagine how one could feel trapped here, scrape and squeal of the train as it slows but never stops, or the doleful whimper of a dog chained to the yard. It's heavy padlock keeping love and loneliness both at an admirable distance. But it's hard to understand why you see this everywhere, in the honk and wave of a neighbor driving up the street, or the fresh wax shimmer of another's car. The morning sun filters the hedges, and I cannot help but wonder why we feel compelled to share with anyone. So please forgive me if I go back to late last spring, how the breeze paused, then pushed the camellia bloom in my direction, giving nod like the slow steady creak of the porch swing to some new passage.